promise this vlog isn't going to turn into a renovation vlog or anything like that but I just wanted to show you a little bit of what I've been up to and why I've been so busy and I'm sorry about the noise if you can hear drilling it's the renovation works uh, I'm currently staying at my partner's twins house which is only a few doors down from where we've just moved into and We've bought a flat that needs renovation work. I'm really sorry, I'm just gonna have to go with it with the drilling. Which means we can't actually live there right now. We're getting the walls redone, carpets up, new kitchen, new windows, new doors, like everything. But anyway, I have some great news. Because we're moving into another one bed flat, it's just, not ideal working in the bedroom at home or in the living room because it's hard to get a work-life balance when your desk is in your bedroom. So the exciting news is that I have rented an office space not too far away. It's only about a 10 minute drive and it's just the same size as the bedroom that I was in before but it's just going to be dedicated office space and I'm so 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 excited. Um, I think I get the keys in a couple of weeks so at the moment I'll have to make do in this little corner and then I shall show you the process of me moving offices and I'll actually be able to do a studio tour because I'll have a studio! Oh, I'm so 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 excited! Anyway, I'm gonna get changed and let's get into the vlog! Okay, that's a little bit better. So let's get into the working week. I have lots of restocking to do. With moving house, I've just been doing orders, like print to order, but it just takes so much longer to do one thing at a time and setting up the machines and stuff. So I'm better off printing off a stock of stickers, notepads, to-do lists, just all of that stuff. And then I really want to get designing my Halloween collection. I'm not doing a massive collection like I did for the classics because I'd rather save that for the Christmas collection which again, I need to get going on because people shop for Christmas stuff quite early. So I'm thinking for Halloween, I'm gonna do two products, nothing major, but I still want them to be really good and be things that people would make use out of and that I would use myself. So I'm gonna get designing and restocking and all that fun stuff. And as ever, I shall show you the process. Here we go. This isn't a place for a little pussycat. So now that I'm all organised and I got the very important shot of Ginny being super cute, I need to get stocking stickers. So here we go. Okay, so now that my stick 
sticker sheets are all restocked and I don't have to worry about when orders come in, I can just grab them and package. I then wanted to restock my notebooks and to-do lists and things like that. But to be honest, I really want to just draw. Um, last week I did the draw with me video and although it's not as popular as the studio vlogs, I just loved doing it and I want to start drawing more as a daily routine. So if any of you follow the amazing artist Sarah Faber, she does warm-up sketches and she's been doing a lot of these recently over on Instagram and I think it's just such a good idea. I really think the best way to improve your art style and your technique is just practicing without worrying about it being a finished polished drawing for a product. It would be nice to just design characters and then have this Okay, my camera ran out of memory. What was I saying? Yeah, the warm-up sketches. And then have a massive backlog of characters and ideas that I can go back to and redraw without sitting down and thinking, right, I need to draw something that will go onto a product. So I'm really trying to put that into my daily routine. I haven't started yet, so I have no idea how it's gonna go. Just a sec, Ginny looks really cute. What was I saying? This is the thing, I get distracted by my cat and then I've no idea what I was talking about. So yeah, now that this shop stuff is out of the way a little bit, I'm gonna do some sketching and show you what I get up to. And then maybe after that, that's when I'll do my character for Halloween. I'm thinking of doing a witch character, but a proper detailed one, a bit like my sassy girl uh, characters. But yeah, because at the moment I've got this character as part of a witchy sticker sheet. I really like her and her little bat earrings. But I'd really like to do a character that's a full character design. And then I'll just see where I go from there. I think that's a good starting point. So let's go to the iPad and get sketching. This is today's warm-up sketch. I spent an hour and a half on this. It's not finished, but I just loved designing this character and I really think she's gonna be a good inspiration for my Halloween character. I kind of can imagine her with dark hair and a witch's hat and yeah, something like that. So I think this is such a good routine to get into and yeah, just keep practicing my style. I hope you like it.
drawing this uh, witchy character. I wasn't feeling super inspired for kind of Halloween ideas. I didn't really know what I wanted to do other than a witch character. But I have fallen in love with her and I think she's really, really cute. So my brain is now racing with ideas of how I can incorporate her into a collection. First of all, I think she needs a name. I would love to know your suggestions, so comment below with ideas because I really don't know. The only name I can think of is Wendy, but that's a bit unoriginal, so <laughs> Wendy the Witch. Yeah, so comment below any ideas. I would love to have a character name. So now I think it's time to turn her into a mini Halloween collection. And I'm thinking of doing my first large vinyl sticker. So not a sticker pack or a sticker sheet, but one sticker that's quite big and you can stick it on your laptop, your water bottle, lunchbox, I don't know, so many places you could put a large sticker. And I think she'll look really cute. So let's get making stickers. I am so happy with these. I love the quality. This is the premium waterproof vinyl sticker paper. It just feels so smooth and yeah, it's got a really nice texture and it really makes the colors kind of pop. Yeah, this is the size, it's quite big. And I just checked and it fits inside my glassine sleeves, which is perfect. And I'm thinking for the backing card, I'm gonna do the same background that I've done for the actual um, illustration and maybe turn the illustration into an art print. So yeah, I wish you could feel them because it feels so good. So I nearly forgot to mention, but today I reached 500 subscribers on YouTube. I cannot believe it. I know that's really, really tiny, but to me, it's massive. I wasn't even expecting to hit 100 subscribers and I've only done eight weeks of YouTube so thank you so much for subscribing. It really helps me out. Um, getting the exposure on YouTube is really helping my business grow and help me get the orders that I need to continue doing this. I thought I would mention the office space again because I've not taken this decision lightly. But now that we've moved from a really expensive rented flat into a bought house in Fife. I feel like I can justify the extra cost of a small office space. We'll see how it goes, it's on a flexible contract, so if I'm not able to make a profit whilst I'm there, I can always leave and work from home again. But it's honestly been a dream of mine since I was a kid to have a studio. Um, it's in an office block, so it's got a shared kitchen and things like that. But the best part is that I can decorate it however I want, obviously budget permitted. But I have been spending way too long on Pinterest looking at office ideas instead of actually working. But I think it will make these vlogs look really nice. And the main thing for me is that I will have a dedicated space that I can actually be productive and not get distracted by little Ginny or just general stuff around the house. So I'm gonna be able to get up, go to work, work and then come home and actually enjoy my time at home so i really hope you've enjoyed this vlog as ever hit the thumbs up and keep subscribing because i don't know maybe one day i'll hit a thousand <sighs> that would be insane so i'm gonna end the studio vlog here because i need to get back to stripping wallpaper derek is currently up a ladder and i've not been helping him the past few days because i've been here working it's a good excuse isn't it sorry I can't do that, I have to draw. But maybe this will be a second business, flipping houses. Anyway, I'm rambling. I shall see you next Friday for another studio vlog. Okay, bye.